You can find me, me, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, dot TV, on IG. So I'm starting a new concept called Sidewalk Serenades. And Sidewalk Serenades features yours truly out in the community, um, popping up at different places with my piano and just, you know, doing a serenade for the environment, for the people walking by, just all kind of stuff. I'm always looking for creative ways to do things. And Corona has taken our creativity to new levels. So oh, I constantly come up with new ideas and help other people as well. <clears throat> So with this, um, I'm actually going to have a quick chop up with my good friend, Sherry, who is helping me to uh, manage a number of things with my career. And I want to tell her about this concept. And also, um, I want to do a, we started a photo shoot the other day, which is also something that was kind of off the cuff <clears throat> and was, um, in response to just you know the current situation current state of affairs and so originally we were supposed to have a, a stylist as well as a photographer and sherry has actually played the part of both and has done a fabulous and amazing job <laughs> so yeah um <clears throat> looking to really do some things with this idea and so yeah i wanted to chop it up with sherry for a few minutes and kind of bring you all along for this journey, everybody that's responding to this particular uh, state of affairs with getting creative. I just finished talking to my mom who's gotten this whole quarantine coloring thing happening and she's coloring pictures and bringing so many people joy, you know. Um, I've got friends making face masks, friends that are singing to people regularly and just all kinds of things like, <clears throat> you know, it's just, Hashtag evolution, you know, and so I'm just I'm just an optimistic person who has so much empathy for our world and for everybody during this time that's going through things that's not so cool. Um, and, you know, then you have the scenarios and situations where new things are being born and created. One thing about this time is that, you know, as people create and get creative and find themselves in new ways and <clears throat> you know give attention to hobbies and to interests that they did before you know when things go to our new norms because you never go back it's always evolution is only one direction um you know a lot of these things will be around and will continue and so that's what i'm excited about they're going to be businesses with whole new branches of um of businesses, virtual businesses. You know how many meetings uh, that people had at jobs that they won't have anymore because it was a waste of time to drive 10 and 15 and 20 miles anyway, just for a meeting that they could have over a good video chat session, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> unless like you really need to be in front of a person and really need to feel them like for certain interactions. I mean, this is actually going to benefit us in a lot of ways to allow us to get more done and it be more convenient and you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I just I just stand in that place of optimism. I stand in optimism. So, we're going to get Sherry on up in here, and yeah. Hey, Sherry. <laughs> Didn't want me to see. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I don't know why my camera's not coming on. Say that one more time. I don't know why my vet. Camera is not coming. Okay. Out. I hate this. Oh. oh wait a minute. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I can actually. Um, I can hear you and I can see you. You can. So, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I sure can. What How you doing? Happening? I'm good. good thanks. Hot. You're hot. No, I said, what's happening? <laughs> right what's happening what's yeah happening? <laughs> so everything's all good i wanted to um i wanted to share with you this idea that i've been working on and um and also uh i was thinking about uh a photo shoot uh deal like 
we started last week. So, <clears throat> so I have a new concept that I um, that I'm unveiling this week. Well, I already started talking about it, but it looks um, once again in creativity to actually use this time to go out and do some spontaneous like pop updates at different locations you know when it's nice weather and um yeah just be able to go outside and really bring the gift of music to people in that kind of spontaneous way and i'm excited about it because i think that you know it's it's kind of young a lot of musicians i really want to lead by example and so a lot of people you know have um jumped on it yet. and um yeah i'm just i'm looking at that so I ordered some equipment because I had to get um, a new keyboard in order to have a uh, battery oper operated professional keyboard. And then I also got, um, you know, some other equipment like with my speaker and that kind of thing. And yeah, I just, I feel like I already know where this is going to go just as far as the impact. And I love to do things like this that are humble and that are right with like meeting the people, you know, just right there with the people. So, so did you want to yeah the fact that I, is that what i understood you to say or you wanted to go yeah. with it no just what we're doing right now oh okay yeah i just wanted i wanted to tell you about this idea um and then be able to share it from here or whatever okay. um so yeah i'm i'm looking at that um i'm basically gonna start off by just uh, just picking, you know, random days when it's just, when it's nice outside and when, you know, my schedule just allows and then, you know, do that. I'm going to create a um, a flyer that's just a general purpose flyer. Mm -hmm. um, because basically what I'm going to do is use that to just, to just post it every time. Same way like I've been doing the workouts. I'm just going to post it every time and post it with the actual details of the when and where's. <laughs> And then what I'm a, what I'm going to do, like as soon as I get into a flow with this, is I'm looking to put it together basically like a tour schedule. You know, the same way where you see like tour dates where I can just schedule some dates out. <clears throat> um, you know, with being able to look at the weather and that kind of thing, and yeah, just have some fun with this. So, like now I've been driving around and just on my regular travels, like I'm starting to see little places where I'm like, man, that would be really cool right there. Like that'd be totally unexpected right there. There's a lot of people jogging by right there. Like there's, you know, there's this and that. So I'm, I'm starting to see the potential and I'm getting excited you, about it, you know. Do you have to get, um, do you have to get um, city permits for that? So I'm actually grabbing one now. Um, and the long and short of it is that like, Technically, yes, but many people don't, and you know, they don't have issues, you know, at times. So I'm, I'm actually going to get one. I did a video the other day um, that was on how to get a permit. In fact, right here in Baltimore, and I did a, a, um, an article response video to share so that you know a bunch of other people can follow up as well. Because I'm going to basically do this and use this to motivate as many um, other artists and musicians to do the same. And as soon as they, you know, see the flow and then realize it's like how you get the permit, you know, and that kind of thing. I think that it's really gonna roll from there. Like I think a lot of people are gonna benefit from applying this idea, you know, themselves. Right. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, you know, so I'm gonna um I got that information and I just need to sit down and follow through with the, the email to get that happening. Um yeah, so and, and what I was going to do, the... well, first of all, like, um, not an exact day because I have to wait until my equipment gets here. So basically, okay. my goal is to do it this week, and uh, I expect my equipment, but I probably think that I do need to do something for fun. So that's actually what the other part of this was, because... What I was thinking was that um, once I do uh, have a little bit more of an idea of a day or at least some times that might work, then I was going to check with you to see if you wanted to, we could possibly actually pick up where we left off to kind of do like a, a double thing where I grab 
you know, the clothes we, you know, I actually, um, we do a short like photo shoot. We just find somewhere and, you know, get some nice pics. And then I can go, I can basically go sh straight from there to whatever the location is going to be because Got you. I would, yeah, because I was thinking that the the very last um, thing that we could do, and we could probably keep it in, you know, a short time and knock it out. But I, I thought that the very last thing that we could do would be wherever I'm going to actually set up to do the first one, because I'll be dressed, we could go ahead and use that as an opportunity to get some, a, a few good photos of that element too, of me just at the piano in an outside environment, you know, looking nice and having nice things. Because that, what I want to do is um, I want to actually use that as um, the shot for this general purpose flyer, you know, um, because of the fact that I, I got a bunch of pictures, but of course this will be like, put you right in the, you know, right there, you know. So I just want to be clear. So do you want to, um, do you want to, are you saying that you want to do like a site tour first and do the photo shoot so you can then create the flyer? And then mm -hmm. the the pop up shop will be at a later date, like the pop up concert, or no, we I'll, all in one day. Yeah. So basically, what I would do is I would just, whenever I figure out what the day will be, then I'll just create another advertisement for that to get it off the ground. Are you going to? You know, um, what? What you say? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. It's okay. I was just going to say, I was looking at doing the first date and using that first date to capture this and then make another, um, another flyer from there. That way it's, it's basically all in one. Instead of, instead of going out and just staging it and then doing it, I might as well just do one because it'll be basically more of a benefit because I'm just, I can put out advertisement and, 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 and the good thing about this is it's not really dependent on people showing up you know because right. the people are already right. there so um yeah so basically the the deal would be i would pick a date and then that date would be the date where we where we got this these couple shots and for um to create another you know general purpose fire and then use that from now on um i think to the pictures that we've already taken you can use a lot of those to um mm. do your first flyer right yeah, I mean, I definitely could. I probably. Did you send I mean, me the I'll, I'll drop link, Aaron? Um, no, because my phone, like halfway through, for some reason, it uploaded like ten pictures, and then it like it had like forty some pictures that it just stopped. So I actually need to. What I was gonna do was just I was gonna actually do a we transfer to. So I'll, I'll I'll get that too. Um, but um, so. Yeah, I could use those pictures. The only thing is I might just for the sake of the, the visual, like the immediate visual piece, I probably would use a picture of me at the keyboard, like at least at least one picture. That's why I wanted to capture an outside. The, the cool part is I think I I think I'd be years old, but it'll still be right on point. I'm gonna grab an HD um picture from when I did when I did this before, and I have videos, you know, of it. I'm gonna grab an HD photo from the video that has me right at the um, the Liberty Reservoir with the piano in front of the water, and then boom. And then that way, I'll you know I can use that. I mean, I could really use that if I wanted to, but I would take a more up to date just because you know it would just be it, I need to take some photos anyway. Um, but you yeah, look 16 no more. That's true. That you, look like you, you look like you're 20 now, like, like you've really grown, like officially. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so um, what location do you have in mind? <laughs> I don't have one. I don't have one yet, actually. Um, I, I'm still brainstorming on, you know, where the first one might be. So I'm brainstorming, oh. and then I also... Hmm. I don't know why. I, I thought I understood you to say that you have been... Um, like riding around and saw some places you were interested in. Did you not? I mean, I definitely, yeah, I've been seeing a million places where I was like, that'd be cool to set up, thinking about it playing out in my head. But as far as like the first location, uh, I haven't chosen a, a specific uh, 
No problem. I, I haven't chosen a specific um, first location yet. But. So, um, oh, right. But can you yeah. just give me an idea of the locations? It doesn't matter what order. I'm just trying to scale, map out like various potential locations. Oh, so, um, I mean, right now, it's just pretty general, general, like, you know, parks, like different, like different park, the monument down, uh, down on, uh, what is it? Um, Charles Street, you know, is a good place. Even where we were the other day is a good idea. Um, right there at Wyman Park, right there facing 29th Street. Um, like, yeah, I, there's so many places. I mean, I, right now what's happened is I've just like, I've been almost everywhere and just been appreciating like, wow, that, that would actually be cool right there. Just like right in that cut or as soon as you turn this bend. I've been, it's been more like I've been looking at, um, I've been looking at what would be creative ideas in general, um, more so than like actually having locations. I mean, what I, the other thing that I did was besides Lake, me starting. Hmm? Lake Montebello would be a good opportunity. Oh, yeah. Lake Montebello, Lock Raven, um, uh, with the the little um what you call almost anywhere where there's water like yeah i mean more than likely you know i'll i'll start having a flood of ideas this week as well as the other fun thing too is um because of the fact that of how i'm putting it out there i'm making it fun by having other people to participate too since um you know everybody knows amazing locations from their travel that i don't know so yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, we have time to really start compiling the list. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the overall general concept. And yeah, I just figured like whatever that first date and day was, pretty much we could use like an hour um, before I, before I set up to do the the the. Um, you know the 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 serenade. I could we could do that hour as just like you you know changing clothes and getting some good pictures in in location in that okay. location or a couple locations. What do you think about um, for example, my girlfriend her daughter is graduating from Towson, and they decided to do mm -hmm. a drive by graduation party. What do you mm -hmm. think about setting right, up in front of somebody's house and mm -hmm like invitation by invitation, but like, hey, you know, uh, let me celebrate your graduate. Mm -hmm. No? Oh yeah, that's the fun part about this is that, you know, like this is like, it's like creative um, ideas are places to do. So, whether it be um, a drop by graduation, whether it be, um, there's going to be places where I set up where people are like selling stuff on the corner. And like, I happen to be like randomly like this background music for that. Like when people are buying stuff from them, they're just like, wow, there's a piano player there. So yeah, um, pretty much almost anything that you can think of that, that consists of, uh, catering to doing things in a different way because of the quarantine i'll be able to stick this formula you know so definitely people are going to have all kinds of drop by events um and i'll be able to basically handle these just like how i do regular gigs you know these are the new regular gigs um know? how do you feel like about pennsylvania avenue area you know it's a little sketchy mm -hmm. over there yeah um <laughs> I mean, it's a lot sketchy over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It, the the problem with a place like that would just be, um, and it would be a prop. Like I would, there'd be certain places where I would literally just like do certain things to like cater to the environment. Um, some places like people would be kind of a little bit too like over the top and a bit distracting. So um, yeah, let me. Um, I can show you if we if we're out anytime soon. I can show you the place I'm thinking of. Um, mm -hmm. It's that bakery I was telling you about. They actually have a courtyard on the okay. side of the building. Oh, sweet. Um, and they have a they have a uh, gated parking lot as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, 
you could conceivably sit in the um the they have a walk-up window and to the mm -hmm. right of the walk-up window is this um gated courtyard right. and then um the entire area is gated so you have to go through one gate and you get into the parking lot and the walk-up window and then you go over to the right and you get into the courtyard which is gated and yeah. adjacent to the building so you know it's i mean it's pennsylvania avenue and it's maybe maybe two blocks below north avenue is penn and baker I got so you. you know yeah so i mean i'm open you know i, I I'm open to different places, you know, the, the one thing is like places like that, you know, people can really like relate. You just know you want to also get like some foolishness too. <laughs> right. So, right. you know, <laughs> so, you know, oh, God, bro. <laughs> you know, it'd be this, it'll be those kind of discretions. One thing um, that I'm looking at is like, you take a place like a dove coat on like um, Madison, like that would be like hollering at a business like that and setting up outside, especially if they, they, especially if they're still doing like takeout because of the type of people that come in there. Um, you know, a place like that business is a place that has like a diverse, um, a diverse demographic of people, you know, who come through there who have like a particular kind of like, um, I guess you could say like sophistication of taste, you know? So, you know, just I, the fun thing about this is that it's, there's nothing but space and opportunity, like literally. And honestly, some of the more fun places are going to be like just the places where you just did not expect to see a piano player, you know, just randomly turning the bin and you're just like, you just see this open plot of grass, like, wow. I mean, there was places where I was driving past where I was just like, you take like certain intersections where people are stopped for a certain amount of time, boom. So you're getting a serenade for at least, you know, a minute or two, which is honestly, that's, that's like, the cool thing I like about this is that every, every, every um, scenario has its own unique potentials to it. You know, you take like a, a, a busy intersection where people only stop for a minute to two, but then that's where like when I have, um, when I grab, because there's a couple of things I'm looking to do to add to this, like I'll have, I'm looking for like a tip, <clears throat> a tip container that's pretty nice where I can actually have um, on the front of it, like, a, you know, actual information, but like not just like something taped on it, like an actual you know, nice looking thing where it has um, my information as far as like my PayPal, my cash app, my Venmo and that kind of thing um, and, and cards or whatever. So you can grab a card. I'm actually getting ready to add that info to the card, but people are be able to like walk up in, in the particular kind of proximity and distance and just grab a card from the ground. They could drop a tip if they want, or they can just use the information that they see from a distance, just be able to, you know, do that. So coming up with, you know, even something like that, because I could imagine, honestly, that like in, in like a cool intersection where people really appreciate it, being able to get a serenade for a minute or two while you're just parked and you're going to turn down your, you're going to turn down your radio because you're just curious, like, what is this dude doing? And then when you turn it down and you're like, wow, this dude's going to play. There'll be people just like how you have panhandles, you know, just like how you have other people where they'll quickly cash at me a couple of dollars, just like, wow. And then see my at, you know, see my at on the same sign and then boom. So I'm just, I'm like, man, this, I, I get excited about ideas like this because it's, it's literally like the limit of it is just the limit of creativity. You know, like I was at a, I was at a friend's house not too long ago where there's like a plot of land in the middle of like a, a space where houses just surround and it's like a dead end. And I was like, this would be a great place. Cause it was like a place where you would come out and just take your kids real quick, like just to the plot of grass and just walk around and play or take your dog. And I'm like, how cool would it be when you come out just randomly? Like I just woke up this morning and like looked outside and there was like just a piano player there. Like, and that might only be like, a good 25 or 30 people that just is like, wow, but there it is. 
you know, and this is just a, a these are just tucked away communities, you know, and so that's like intimacy, right? So you get a you get an intimate kind of thing that you didn't expect, and then you take a busy intersection, and then it's not about the intimacy, but it's about the fact that you were just caught off guard for one or two minutes, you know. And then you take the park, and you're like, I was just, I was walking by there anyway, my dog and my kids, so we stood at a safe distance and just enjoyed this guy playing, you know, in front of the monument, you know? Yeah. Or the restaurant deal where it was like, yeah, we were just going in to get our food. We just hung up for a second, you know? So yeah, this is fun from that perspective. And then it's also fun because like I've been saying to almost everybody that I've been talking to about these, these kind of ideas that have been created during this time, every idea that's created like this on this time won't end once things, once the alternative comes back, it'll actually be either like in some people's cases, the new main part of their equation and everything else rests on top of that. Um, right. Or it'll be a beautiful added branch to it. And when it comes to this, and like I said, other expressions that are created on this time, all of these expressions are, are like created in the midst of serving like, to the to the heart just baseline needs so they're actually the most priceless things that we'll have um to like fuel our motherships you know there's gonna be so many people that just remember me from just the dude they saw hanging around playing and i was able to talk to them just on the humble because i wasn't on a gig and they didn't have to pay for it it was just like wow you know um which will that will be the connection as opposed to seeing me on the grand stage of some place that, you know, they just didn't see that. So this is grassroots stuff. This is to me like very baseline humanitarian connection stuff. And um, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm very much excited about it. And, and, and then the fact that we're hitting summertime. So pretty much all I got to do is just look at the weather, figure out times that work that I just feel like hanging out and just, playing you know even if i'm shedding and then it's you know it's it's done you know it's done uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah those are my those are my immediate thoughts and yeah i wanted to throw it your way can see you if... hold on one second please excuse me oh yeah no doubt you cool Thanks. yeah no problem so yeah i was just saying that you know um i wanted to run this by you um see you know see if um if it sparked anything for you and just yeah and then just look look forward to this next step of once the, you know once the date is solidified and then you know connecting so um my immediate thoughts are you could do what you call um i don't know if you remember we were talking about the um thing that j cole did a dollar in a dream um, and yeah. um, and that whole concept is is similar. I think that um, it could be similar, I should right. say. And I think that um, what you could do it for sure is once you get a clear idea, like, um, and it, you, all of them don't have to be planned and scheduled and all of that, but mm -hmm. you could conceivably say, hey, you know, today at three o'clock, meet me at, you yeah. know, Hanlon Park. Yep. Um, that sort yep. of thing and drop it at like 6 a.m you know or yep. 3 a.m you know so people are looking for it that's the beauty you know, of I, this I, whole thing that's yeah, and that's, that's the that's the beauty of this whole thing because it's like the difference with this and like a traditional gig is that you could drop this info and then everybody that comes is bonus because you're already setting up an area where you're just going to see people anyway, and people are just going to stop because you're doing something out of the norm. Right, right. So I think that's the one thing. Um, the photo shoot, like you said, we could do that um, prior to actually starting. But that means that if you're going to play at three, we probably got to be there at one. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it'll oh, yeah. be time to set up as well. So we mm -hmm. have to be there pretty early. And then also the reason I'm pushing you for locations is because I don't want to be too heavy like east side or too heavy west side like it should be a little bit of both mm -hmm. some county some city you know just so that we're mindful of that because it's easy to lean more to one than the other mm -hmm. yeah um yeah yeah I'm, I'm with you on that yeah my the thing about this that I see is that 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the, it's like just the world of possibilities opens up, you know, and because you're not limited to location and there's no wrong location, which is the most fun part about it. There's literally no wrong location. Right. Like, you know, unless you're just somewhere where you're just not seen, but like, yeah. So the fun part is just that, is that um, you can't go wrong and the, and the, you have the whole playground of choices. So yeah, my goal would be to be in different areas to, just touch different people. You can't really oversaturate. Like I say, it's just a win-win every time, unless you just are somewhere where nobody passes by. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, the goal, the the yeah, mm-hmm. we, um, we definitely. And there are will people, be a, a couple locations. of locations that I thought about that um, I will mention to you. So um, there are a couple of places that I think you might be able to. Um, look at that you might not have thought of um even out like in the county here Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so there's that and then um yeah that's that's pretty much the the intro of this idea so yeah um i definitely i wanted to run that by you and that that was yeah that, that was um real helpful like the things that you've that you've been even saying so far and i just see nothing but potential you know there's there's going to be again i look forward to the fact that when things start back up like i'll still be continuing this and it'll be actually one of the biggest drivers of everything else because yeah there'll be many people that's just like yeah i'm i'm I actually know this guy and or or I became hip to him as a person or to his music or anything else just just by that. And then the fun part about this is like doing it with a little bit more um than like the traditional you know, some really cool stuff to just kind of hang out, you know. And then having a few extra things that I have designed that will be for like the, you know, where, this is where the information is. And then they have the social media cards that I'm at. Like it's just, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is really sweet. So yeah, I just wanted to give you that real quick. Any other thoughts um, before I stop this recording? We'll keep talking for a minute, but I'm gonna stop yeah. the recording after that. No, really, I mean, that's pretty much everything. So we'll just uh, figure out a date when, when you're going to start, you know, after you get your stuff. Right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. So to help me to make more content like this, please see the info in the description or comments. Thanks so much for watching. And if we're not already connected on all my other homes, the Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, etc., when you can find me, me at Aaron Hill TV, V at Aaron Hill TV, V.